Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be doing... I'd rather you did ribs. We're doing ribs on the gas grill. Let's get going. Okay, what I have here is two racks of St. Louis style ribs. I've already trimmed them, pulled the membrane off the back. It's real easy to get the membrane off. You just basically, you take a butter knife, get underneath the skin, take a paper towel. Usually it all comes off in one piece. That's what it did for me. But what we're going to do, we're going to use something different here on this. We're going to be putting it on the gas grill. I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to smoke these on the gas grill. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take some yellow mustard. This is just a binder. It won't leave any taste. We're just going to put a little bit on here like this. And we'll do both of them. Right here on the back side. Do the back side first. We're just going to rub this in. This is just a binder is all it is. You're not going to taste this. Some people use olive oil. I like to use yellow mustard on it. I've actually used mayo before and it turns out really good too. So, all right, we've got that on. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take some granulated onion and we're just going to sprinkle on it. Just a light coat, it's not going to take much. Some granulated onion. Just like that. And we're going to take some granulated garlic. Can't, you can't you can't do ribs that garlic, let's face it. We're going to put a light coat of that on here. Now, we're going to use some Williams Rib Tickler. This is really awesome stuff on ribs. Really awesome. And we're going to put a good coat of this stuff on it. Really good. We're going to coat it up really good with the Rib Tickler. If you've never tried William's Rib Tickler, you really need to. You'll love this stuff. All right, we're going to pat that down real good. Don't rub it, just pat it. Now we're going to flip these over. Just like that. And we're going to... A little mustard. I'm trying to keep this stuff clean as I can. Like that. Work it in. Like I say, it's just a binder. You're not going to taste it. All right. We're going to go with a little bit of granulated onion. A little bit of granulated garlic. I like me some garlic on pork ribs. And we're going to hit it with the rib tickler, the Williams rib tickler. Okay, we're going to just do a good coat on it. There we go. Now I'm going to pat that in. Now I want to make sure we got some rib tickler on all the edges. Just going to go around them like this. I'm going to finish this up, getting all the edges. And I'll be right back. We'll take these out and I'll show you how I set up my gas grill. We're actually going to smoke these on the good quick gas grill. So I'll see you out there. Okay, we're out here at my gas grill, and what we're going to do, I've got this burner on, and I've got this burner on. We're going to try to keep our uh, grill at about 250 to 275 degrees. And what I'm going to do here... What I've got here is a smoke tube with apple pellets in it. And we're going to let this run about 15 minutes. Just let it burn for about 15 minutes till it goes out. And then we're going to set it over here. We're going to use it to supply the smoke. So 
when this gets ready and we're going to try to keep this between 250 and 275. So when it gets ready and we get ready to put the ribs on, I'll be right back. Okay, our gas grill is running about 261. We got our smoke tube going there, as you can see. Now we're just going to set these on here right between them right here. Just kind of scrunch them up like that. Move this back just a hair. And we're going to get this baby on there. Scrunch it up just a little bit. There we go. Move this temperature probe so we can keep track of this gas grill to make sure. All right. Now we're going to let these run probably two and a half, three hours like this. And I'll be back in a little bit. Been on for a couple hours. What I have here is I've got some apple juice. And I'm just going to spray it real good. Keep it nice and moist. About every hour you want to spray this. Well, they looking good. They smelling good too. All right, get these on. See you in another hour. Okay, our ribs have been on three hours. I just pulled them off. Now we're fixing to wrap them, and we're gonna put some few finishing touches on it. What I've got here is some zesty Italian dressing, and we're just gonna put a line. We put them face down. We're just going to put a line of this right down the middle of it here. And man, this is going to just turn these up. Take them to another notch. Put a good little line on that. There we go. And I'm just going to wrap them up. Wrap them up good and tight. This is where they're going to get nice and tender and get oh so good with that zesty Italian sauce on there with that Williams rib tickler. Okay, Let's set that right there. Take this set of ribs, put it on right here. Now we're going to juice these up with some Italian dressing. Zesty Italian. Get these wrapped up. This is a recipe that everybody's gonna have to try at least once. I mean, these are so good. If you if you try this recipe, you'll be eating them like this a quite a bit. All right. Now I'm going to get these back out to the gas grill and we're going to get them on for another hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then I'll be back. Okay, our ribs have been on for two hours wrapped. We've been running about 260, 262 degrees. Now we're going to do the last step and man, they're smelling good here too. We're going to unwrap these babies. Oh yeah, man, they're, man, we got some shiners in here. Look at this. We're gonna turn these over. Man, these are gonna be tender. Now, what I've got here is some apple butter barbecue sauce that we're gonna put on them. This is gonna go real good with this rub and that. This is gonna go real good with that rub and the applewood pellets that we used in there. So, man, these are smelling good. Just get a good little coat on them there. Just enough to glaze them up a little bit is what we're going to do. All right, set this right there. Get this bone out of here. Let me see if I can get these up. Man, these are going to be tender. Look at these. Set this right there. Let me 
get this out of the way. Set this right here in the sink. Get the other one done, and I'm gonna get them on for about 20 minutes, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we got our ribs off. Man, they look amazing. They smell amazing, too. This is a real easy recipe. Before we cut them up, let's kind of go over what we did. We put a little bit of mustard on it as a binder, a little bit of granulated garlic, a little bit of granulated onion, and then we put a coat of Williams rib tickler on it. Put them on the gas grill with the smoke tube with apple pellets in it. Kept it between 250 and 275. It ran about 260, 261 the whole time. Run it for three hours. Pulled them off. We wrapped them up and we put some zesty Italian dressing down the back. Put them face down and put it down the back. Wrapped them up. Put them on there for between an hour and a half and two hours. Pulled them out. We put some of that apple butter barbecue sauce on it. Put them back on for about 20 minutes just to set everything. Let them rest. We're done. And I'm fixing to cut these bad boys up because they smell really good and I'm hungry. Man, they are tender. Man, I want you to look at this. Anybody that tells you you can't... Man, the bones are just falling out of them. Anybody that tells you that you can't... That, that you can't smoke... If anybody tells you that you can't smoke ribs or anything on a gas grill, they're wrong. You can. I mean, it's nothing else. It's nothing more than any other smoker. It's heat and smoke. That's what it is. Oh, man. I want you to look at this. Let me see if I can get one of these up here. Man, I want you to look at that. And you know I got to have some. The bones are just, man, it's fall off the bone ribs. Mmm. Oh, man. <laughs> I think I just found my new favorite way to do ribs here. And they got a little bite to them. I mean, they got a little texture to them, too. They're not just mushy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. Man, these are good. They're absolutely wonderful. I really appreciate everybody joining me. I'll leave a link down below for the Williams Rib Tickler and for the smoke tube that we used. And hey, if you like this video, if it was informative to you, entertaining, whatever, I'd really appreciate if you'd hit the like button down there. I really appreciate it. I want to send a thanks out to all the men and women in law enforcement that protect us and patrol these streets and keep us safe every day. And I want to send another thanks out to all the men and women in the military and to all of our veterans that are willing to give up the ultimate sacrifice to keep our country free. Thank you very much.